that, Deb. I think so. Hey. Hey, how y'all doing? All right. Good, how are you? I'm all right. How are you? I invited Sam and Abira to come over and meet Tahiri today. Abira is only in town for a few more days, and she and Sam are a couple of my closest friends. I know that I don't have to worry about the two of them being crazy around Tahiri. She's so beautiful. Oh my God. She looks like Luna. I think she looks like she Luna. Looks like Jada. I've heard that twice, huh? She has so big old <laughs> cute cheeks, so squeezable cheeks, mama. Even though all the girls have a dinner plan later this week to meet the baby, Abir and I decided to come early because she leaves town tomorrow. And also, I couldn't wait that long. How are you feeling? Just tired, honestly. How did the birth go? Like, Y'all know I've been contracting for like weeks and then it was, oh my God, it was the worst pain that I've ever felt in my life. And it was honestly like mentally driving me crazy. Right. And my blood pressure was high the whole time. So what did they do? Did they do finally just do an emergency C-section? They or? did. They gave me the C-section. I was, I feel like this time I was more out of it than I was with any of my other C-sections. It was horrible. I can just imagine. I would not, <laughs> I would not wish that on nobody. <laughs> Being in labor for three days was the worst pain that I have ever felt in my life. This was something that I thought I could handle and was hoping I could handle, but it just turned out to be way too much. So mentally, emotionally, how are you feeling? Because I know, you know, um, with my last um, delivery, I kind of fell into a little depression, you know, postpartum. Um, so how are you feeling? Um, I've, I've been crying a lot, I'm not gonna lie. Because it's, it's been extre extremely hard. Sometimes I just get really stressed out because I'll, it's like, you know, you're in a room full of people, but nobody you hears still you. feel lonely. You right. still feel totally like nobody's understanding. No one's happy all the time. Right. You know, so it's like, damn, I gotta look like I'm happy right now, and really, I want to scream. Like a lot of women, immediately after having Tahiri, I did suffer with a little bit of postpartum depression. Everyone always thinks everything's so happy and amazing after a baby is born, and a lot of times, it's just not. I always remind myself of the times that I cried before like this and how I felt like my whole world was ending mm -hmm. and how I made it through. Right. You know, this is not the end. 